The Paw Report with Evan Yeager on sports, Kevin Bouquet and Isaiah Gardner on entertainment, Tony Confino as our field reporter, and lead anchor Amy Giannotti. Welcome to The Paw Report. Happy October, OJR. I'm Amy Giannotti, and here's your news. This upcoming Monday marks the beginning of Spirit Week. To help get you in the spirit, here are two of your student government representatives. Hey there, everyone. I'm Matt Serving, Executive Council Communication Officer. And I'm Sarah Hume, Chairperson of Events and Activities. This week, we have a message for you from the student government. Next week is Spirit Week, starting with America Monday. Then we have Neon Tuesday. And then Bucktown Wednesday, which is Camo, Animal Print, and Farmer. After this, we have Sports Thursday. And then we finish with Red Out Friday. And we're still doing pennies for patients, but this year we're doing something a little different. As always, one penny counts for one point towards your graduating class. Although this year, if you put a dollar in another class's can, then it'll be minus 100 points for that class. Remember, this is still a competition between graduating classes, so make sure you show your school spirit. Let's go Wildcats! Thanks, guys! Students, don't forget to dress on Monday. With all that spirit floating around, Monday already feels better and a little bit saltier. The NHS will be selling pretzels at the new wing entrance every Monday starting next week. Pretzels will be one for 75 cents and three for two dollars. You should buy them for your health. If you're concerned about health, you should look into flu vaccines. Vaccines are being administered for free on Wednesday, October 17th for all high school students. All you need is a permission slip signed by your parents. The permission form can be downloaded on the OJR website or picked up in the main office and must be turned into the school nurse by October 16th. Improving my immune system and getting a cool band-aid? I think it sounds worth it. While my vaccine fights germs, our athletes have been fighting and winning. We go now to sports anchor Evan Yeager to tell us more. Evan? I'm Evan Yeager and this is your sports update. This past Monday, the field hockey team earned another win in an undefeated season. The Pottstown Trojans were defeated 2-0 with an assist goal by Emma Chrisman and Liz Karcheski and a last-minute, well, eight-minute goal by Maddie Mullen. Keep up the wins, girls! Over the weekend, in a game against Council Rock North, the Wildcats and the Indians tied 1-1 with Shane Kelly scoring off an assist from Brandon Ott. Monday, the boys' soccer team came close to victory, but again came up just short in another 1-1 tie against Boyertown. When the buzzer sounded, to end the game, Torrain Lee was the only Wildcat that found the back of the net, with some help from Ben Hezard. This game put the Wildcats at a respectable 4-4-2 record in the Pac-10s. Unfortunately, the girls didn't have as much luck and ended up losing to arch-rival Boyertown 3-1. With a goal from Katie Dempsey and six saves from goalie Kristen Emig, the Wildcats put up a fight against two-time defending Pac-10 champions. We wish both teams the best of luck in their upcoming games. In tennis, the girls' top three singles competed in the Pac-10 championships on Saturday at Perk Valley. Meredith Lee, a freshman, placed second in the singles championships. This qualifies her to play in the District 1 championships being held on October 3rd and 4th at the Archer, Ar Arthur Ashe Center. Great job and good luck. In other news, the OJR cross-country team ran Wednesday at Valley Forge Christian College, with the girls' team securing a victory, adding to their undefeated record. Finishing in the top three for the girls' team was Jill Weston, Sarah Taylor, and Andrea Shade. Good luck next Wednesday against Upper Perk. Last Friday, the ONJ Roberts football team played Boyertown. ONJ started off scoring two touchdowns off of turnovers, one by Wyatt Scott and the other by Brad Kinkner. Wyatt rushed for a total of 148 yards. Unfortunately, they lost 21-14 when Boyertown scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter. If you are one of the many students here that rocks a red t-shirt at all the sporting events and can be seen disobeying just about every PIAA rule in the book, then you're probably in the cat pack, or at least we hope so. Cat pack is a group of students that show up to sports games and spread wildcat pride, and it's only $10 of your parents' money for a shirt. Come out to sporting events, paint your face, yell, and have fun with the cat pack. Pick up a shirt and join in the fun for Spirit Week and Homecoming next week. I'm Evan Yeager, and that was your sports update. Thanks, Evan. Our athletes are doing us proud. Whether you're a serious athlete or just enjoy a friendly competition, you can sign up for a dodgeball team to compete on November 1st. Teams can consist of up to 10 members. Spaces are limited, so please have your forms in by October 25th or earlier if you want to take on the challenge. Space oh. If you're looking for a challenge in areas other than academics, perhaps the Reading Olympics is for you. 
There are over 30 works of literature this year, spanning genres from fantasy to sci-fi, even a comic book. If you're interested, you can stop by the library for sign-up information as late as Friday, October 18th. We wish you the best of luck. Best of luck to our band tomorrow night as they perform at the OJR Cavalcade of the Bands. The Cavalcade of Bands takes place in the OJR Home Stadium at 5 p.m. If you haven't already purchased your tickets, you can grab some at the door. Tickets are $10 for adults and $8 for students. You can also buy a family pack for $40, which includes admission for four and a voucher for one, one slice of pizza and one beverage per person. Still not sold? Kevin Bouquet is in the field with drum majors Hendrik Berger and Corey Articani to convince you. Hey there, I'm Kevin Bouquet here with Corey Articani and Hendrik Berger here to talk about the Cavalcade of the Bands. So, what are some of the bands that we'll see this year at the Cavalcade? Well, we will see Pop Sound, Marvel Newtown, Great Valley, Warrior Town, Warwick, Potts Grove, William Penn, Southerton, uh, Council Rock, Council South, I guess, Conrad Weiser, Phoenixville, What will inspire us to come to the Cavalcade this weekend? Well, Kevin, I'm great that you asked. We have wonderful bands coming out this weekend, as you just all heard, and they have great shows they've planned out for months, and they practice at band camp, and it's going to be so much fun. If you haven't heard our show, our show is James Bond 007. It's very fun, jazzy. You've been to the football games, you've clearly heard it. It's fantastic. Um, you will love the opportunity to come down to our Cavalcade this Saturday because honestly it's awesome it's very fun and awesome yeah. and you'll get the opportunity to see how bands compete and how much time they actually take and how marching band is not actually what you think it is it's actually very competitive and actually very fun if you rather think about it like that we'll come here these this saturday at the cavalcade of the bands back to you amy thanks kevin between the sats and the cavalcade this saturday sounds like a busy day with homecoming upon us next saturday sounds busy too it's time to break in those shoes, girls, and tailor those suits, boys, because the cafeteria, I mean, dance floor, is waiting for the homecoming dance. Tickets will be on sale in all lunches for $7 and $10 at the door. This year's theme, the Roaring Twenties. That's all we have for you today, OJR. Have a fun and studious weekend.